This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global at the final press conference for the Golden Contract Tournament live on Sky Sports and ESPN Plus this Friday night from York Hall. I'm joined by, well today I was a little bit baffled, I'm not usually baffled at press conferences but you kind of did baffle me, OD. Um, I think like, I feel like I baffled quite a few people but the whole arrogant persona, rude, arrogant OD, I want to put that behind me now and I want to be the real me, the humble, just a normal person, Odi. I don't want to be known for being arrogant and, you know, like for being wild and for starting fights. That's not the person that I am. That's not the person that I am, Coogan. Yeah, I'm just, obviously I know that you know this, but you know like what you're talking about happened less than 24 hours ago. Yeah, but I feel like people can change in, in about 10 minutes. And I went to bed, I woke up on the right side of the bed, this morning and I said to myself, do you know what? I want to change. I, want, I don't want to be known for being this rude, arrogant person. And I'm honestly a new man. The former OD that was, you know, that done rude things. That guy's gone and he's, and he's literally not ever going to come back. He's gone. Finito. Finished. And I just want to be positive now. I want to be positive. I feel like it's all about having that right mindset, positive mindset, being a happy person. And that's what's going to take you far in boxing and in life. It's not about turning the fans away from you. The fans pay our wages. If there's no fans, there's no boxers. If, the, if there's no fans, there's no boxing show, there's no boxers. The fans made me the person that I am. And they're going to continue to make me the person that I am. But now, I want them to love me. I don't want them to hate me no more. I know you're, you're being very positive today. And it's great. And it's, it's a good version that I'm sure a lot of people would like to see. But is it fair to say that there are some people out there that will say throughout your career, we have heard this from you before, and then by your next fight, we kind of get the other version of O'Hara Davies? Well, I have said it before, and they have, it has been heard in the past, obviously, but it doesn't mean that I don't mean it this time. Or it doesn't mean that I'm not going to try a lot harder this time. Or it doesn't mean that I lied. I didn't lie. I wanted to be more of a positive person in the past and I guess things happened and I went back to my rude, obnoxious, arrogant ways. But now, I, think, I believe that I have it in me now to be that, to be that person. To not, uh, I've, I've, you know, it's all about understanding how to handle yourself on camera. I'm a humble guy if the camera's not there. I'm a humble, normal guy. You can ask anyone that meets me, anyone that knows me. But as soon as the camera just gets put in my face, I start acting wild and I don't know what it is. But now I feel like I've kind of mastered it. I'm not media trained and I've got taught how to handle the lights and the cameras. All I know is that I've been a WWE fan since I was young and those guys are hype and they cause excitement and they cause entertainment. And then when I turned pro, I was like, you know what, I want to be like these guys. Entertainment, hype, as soon as the camera comes in my face, start saying some wild things and that's not me anymore, Coogan. And this time I'm going to try to keep this going for as long as I can. All right, it's, it's interesting. Like I said, it's a, a, an approach that you have tried before, but let's, let's hope you can stick at it and uh, we'll kind of, yeah, we'll try and push this positive version of O'Hara. Do you believe I can keep this going or do you, think, do you believe I'm going to change? What's your honest opinion? Because I, I, I see this look in your face, but like these guys, they can't see it, but it's like you're, I don't know, it's like I see a little smirk, like you don't believe it, Keegan. Do you believe? Do I believe that you have changed in the space of 20 hours? If I'm going to be honest, not really. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm, not trying to put a, I'm not trying to put a negative spin on it. You asked me an honest opinion, but I'm going through your career and kind of making a judgment off that. I hope that what you're saying is the case of what it is, but I have to be honest, I think that we will see like the split version of O'Hara come back at some point. I might be wrong and I hope I am wrong. So don't take any offence to that. You asked me to be honest. Keegan, I take offence. I take offence. I actually can't believe it, but, you know, I guess that time will tell. I've just got to keep it going and I guess time will tell. I can show the whole world that I can be a normal, decent human being. I ain't got to be a rude person. I want to fight all of these amazing fighters and be rude and arrogant. All of these guys fighting in this, in this thing, they're all amazing fighters. And I've been rude to some of them. Tyron McKenna, Tyron Surtees, I said some very rude and some very disrespectful things. And I would like to apologise to them both, which I have earlier. Me and Tyron Surtees had a little hug, so it's over now. All that stuff's gone. And to the boxing fans, boxing fans, I want to apologise. Tell them. Boxing fans, 
straight from the man himself, OD Two Tanks. I'd like to apologise for a lot of the arrogant, obnoxious things that I've said about you guys in the past. Up in Liverpool especially, up in Liverpool, when I fought Derry Matthews, when I fought Tom Farrell, I was very rude to boxer fans in general. But this OD, coming into 2020, new and improved. And I don't want to be hated anymore for being the person that I'm not. I want to be loved for being the person that I am. And I believe I'm a decent human being off camera. And I just want to show that same light now on camera. So if you guys are willing to accept me again, I know that I said it once in the past and I went back to my ways, but if you guys will accept me again and love me for who I am, I think we can make this work. Do you know what? I'm starting to believe, not, not fully, but I am starting to believe now that this could be the case. So don't take offence. I'd like to just see how this pans out in the future. Thank you, Keegan. I am a new and improved man as of this morning. Wonderful. Let's talk about Logan Yoon. Um, a little bit of an unknown quantity, very highly rated. Um, there's no footage of him, which was strategic, according to him and his team, that they didn't want to kind of have people um, studying him, etc. Uh, we know you spoke to Logan on camera yesterday next to you, but um, did you manage to find any footage of him? Logan Yoon's a great fighter. He's got his, his dad, his coach, right here. Amazing, you know, great guys. I've met them all. Um, he's got all of his stuff. It's not online. It's not on YouTube. When he was at the thing only yesterday, I said to them, guys, there ain't nothing of him online. But he came in earlier and he shadow boxed. Is he orthodox or is he southpaw? He said, he's orthodox. I said, cool. That's all I need to know. As soon as I left, I had over 10 videos of over 10 of his fights sent directly to me over WhatsApp. And I've got them on my, on my phone now. I've got over 10 of his fights. I've got him doing the bags. I've got him on the pads. I've got him on the body bag. And I've got many of his fights, which I can show his dad after, which got sent to me by someone from his camp. Which, obviously, I'm not going to name who sent them to me, but by someone from his camp sent me many videos, told me many things about him. So he's not that much of a mystery no more because I've got the footage that I need. And I was sat at home last night watching them at 5 a.m. this morning, 5 a.m., I know I have a bunch of videos sent, sent to me of him when he was young. I've got videos of, of him when he was young, when he was a kid. That's how far back this goes. And it's all about knowing who to keep around you, knowing who's in your team, because a lot of people like to expose your business. And if someone close to him doesn't like him, be careful with who's got all your business, because I've got many videos on my phone right now. I've got, a bit too many, I've, got, I've got a bit too many. I haven't even seen them all yet. I've still got to go through. I've got more of... I've got more of him on, on my phone than there is of than he's seen of me online. And I've got everything online. I find this really baffling that this has occurred actually. You're saying someone specifically from his team has sent you footage of him. I, I find that really kind of baff, baffling. I'll, I'll, I'll show you now on camera. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys now on camera. I've got many, I've got many footage of his. I've got him hitting a buddy bag. That's from last night. Look, him hitting a buddy bag. Look, he's one of him on a buddy bag. See it? Uh, one of him, I don't know who that is on the pads. I've got some of his fights. Yeah, I can confirm. Don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to show it on there, but I can, got, I can got, see that is. I've got many things and I've got information, secret private information that, um, you know, I'm, I feel happy. I said to the person, thanks a lot. I'd like, I don't know you, I never met you, but thank you. And then at 5 a.m., the guy sent me a whole bunch of new stuff. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> um, can I just ask you one more question about this? How do you know it's from uh, Logan Newton's team, the person? Um, I can't really say that because then they'll be giving out okay. the person's name. Fair enough, that's fair enough. The person said to me, just make sure that nothing, nothing comes back. And I was like, I make sure that nothing comes back. I said to him, all I'll say is that it's, it's from someone from his team. And he said, cool, don't say anything else. But anyway, he's a good fighter, amazing fighter. I've seen quite a few of his fights, great fighter. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting it on a fight now. I know that it's going to be a very hard fight, but this camp's been very, very hard. I've worked hard. This is the best camp I've had. Under my new coach, my first fight as a pro under this new coach. But I'm the fittest I've been, and I'm confident. For the first time, I've never been as confident as I am now. On my last fight, I was nervous because I knew that I didn't work hard enough. I thought Vasquez, I was backstage nervous, nervous. But for this fight, I'm confident because I'm like, mate, 
you get Godzilla in the ring with me right now. You get Anthony Joshua, you get Daniel Dubois, you get the best fighter in the world with me right now. I don't believe anyone can stand in me right now. When I'm in this shape I'm at now, I feel unbeatable. I feel untouchable. And on Friday night, the world will see. OK, O'Hara Davies, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV again. And, uh, yeah, we wish you the best of luck on Friday night and hopefully we will we'll grab a word of you after your fight at your call this week. After my win, listen, let's go get some... Let's go get some. Let's go get some food. Uh, listen, can I tell you guys about the food that I've missed? I want pie and mash. Have you had that? Have you ever had pie and mash? I haven't had pie and mash in a while, since I was at, since I was at the Sims gym. But after this fight, I'm having a pie and mash. I want a Five Guys. The day after the fight, me and Anthony Yard gone sheesh. You know sheesh and chigwell. Amazing food. Um, I want KFC. I want McDonald's. I want a Chinese buffet. A takeaway. I want an Indian. Listen, I've been listen, I've been driving past all these shops. I've been driving past all these shops. I've been seeing all these guys on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, posting food every Friday night. And I'm at home, on my diet, being good. But at this camp, I've been good. I listened to what my coach said. I listened to everything he said. And this camp's been a very good camp. But after the fight, let's go eat some food, Coogan. Hell yeah. All right, well, if that was addressed to me, I'm, I'm up for it. I'm up for a Chinese buffet any night of the week. Ahara, thank you very much for talking to us, and uh, we'll see you at the weigh-in tomorrow, and then Friday night, it's on. It's on Friday night, hell yeah.